Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician, and on this video, instead of going from sum to product, we're gonna switch it now and see what happens if we know the product, can we find the sum for that algebraic expression? So let's go ahead and start off with the product of x plus three times two x plus one. Now what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna have to kind of work backwards and try to build the sides of our rectangle, then fill in the rectangle. From that, we should hopefully be able to come up with our sum. So let's go ahead and try that out. Our expression for our product was x plus three. That is one of the sides. So that means on my side here, let's go ahead and focus on the height. Let's go ahead and build that out. So I know I'm gonna need an x plus three of these one tiles. Again, I'm looking at my product here. My first term is x plus three. Well now here I've built x plus three unit tiles. Our next term here is two x plus one. So on the bottom of this rectangle, let's build out that side. We're gonna need to grab an x tile, flip it, and we wanna build out two x plus one. So let's get two of these x tiles, one of the unit tiles, and now we've built out the sides or the dimensions of this rectangle. Now, we have to work backwards and start to build this rectangle. So what we wanna do is we wanna think of what algebra tiles can we fill in using these sides as our template so that we can actually create that rectangle. Hopefully we can understand that I would not wanna put a unit tile here because the unit tile has a side of one and it doesn't line up with either of these X tiles. I'm looking for an algebra tile that has both sides that are X. And hopefully a light bulb in your head is going off and you realize that I'm talking about our friend, the X squared tile. The X squared tile fits perfectly here between both of those X tiles. And we're now starting to build out this rectangle. Looking at the right space here, again, I see that I need an X tile and an X tile for the sides. So again, I know that I'm gonna use my X squared tile. So this space here, I know that it has to have a side of X and a side of one. The only tile that can fit that is our X tile here, where the side is one, the side is X, it fits in perfectly. We are definitely getting this rectangle building up. Now up here, we see that we have this one tile here. This side is the one. This side for my X squared is X. So again, I'm gonna use an X tile here to fill in that spot there. And as I work my way up, I'm actually going to continue to use these X tiles as a way to fill in those spaces. Again, that tile matches up with the side X and the side one. Over here on this side here, I can definitely see that I can also fit in another column of X tiles here. And now I can see that I am almost done. All I need to do now is fill in this last little space here of one tiles. And it looks like three of these unit tiles are going to do the trick. There we go. I've now built this rectangle out only knowing what the dimensions or the sides were. Now let's go ahead and see if we can write this area now as a sum. So we started with our first side being x plus three. That represented this height for our rectangle. There is the x and there's the three. Now we also saw the other side was two x plus one. And again, I saw that because I had two x's here and the one tile there, and that became two x plus one. 
Now we want to see, can we write this out as a sum? Well, I see here that I have two x squared tiles. So I'm going to go ahead and just rewrite this as 2x squared, and that is the first term for our sum. That 2x squared that we see right there, those two x squared tiles. Now going up top here, I see that I have 6x tiles listed up here. I'm going to go ahead and write that out as 6x, and I know that I can go ahead and write plus 6x after the 2x squared. Now moving down here, I do see I have this lonely x tile down here all by itself. I don't want to forget this guy, so I will also add the plus x tile there as well. Last but not least, up here we have these three unit tiles here. We want to make sure we add that to our sum as well, and we end up with plus three. There is our sum, but we're not done just yet because I see some common terms in there, some like terms that we can combine. Because I see here that we have plus 6x and plus x. Hopefully we can recognize that together, the 6x tiles and the 1x tile, together when we add those, those create 7x tiles. So we always want to make sure that we are simplifying as far as we can go and that we're combining any like terms along the way. So that's it. That's how we take a product. We build the sides, we fill in the rectangle, and then for the sum we then just count and see what algebra tiles we have and then we write them adding together as a sum. Alright guys, it's that math magician, and I'll see you on the next video.